Hey guys, I've been doing a little bit of work on um, arranging a sort of set template for us to work on, um, especially if we're looking at um, possibly playing to a click track. Um, what I've done is I've mapped out MIDI drums, um, you know, just for just for timing, and um, all these arrangements, all, all the songs that we know how to play are in this arranger chain, which basically will play to a set tempo for that song, and then obviously when the song's finished, the tempo will change for the next song, which is, you know, for argument's sake, like a stone is playing at 108 beats per minute, and then wood goes down to 100, um, this will do it all automatically. Um, it will be set to stop after each song, so we can manually start it uh, when we're ready to play the next one. Um, you know, generally that would be the drummer. Um, also, I've got marker tracks, which you know sort of indicate every event. Um, so, I, so I start of the song, when the bass starts, verse. So it's just like a visual marker of um, you know different points of the song. Um, it's probably not much use or practical use in a, in a live environment, but could be handy to. Um, practice with, you know, when you're visually playing along to this, you can see it, you know, name riff starts, and then shortly the verse will start. Um, you know, uh, I thought it was a good idea just to, just to map it out for every song. Could be handy. Um, uh, yeah, I've got this, these MIDI drums mapped out, which are basically what the drummer is going to be playing. Um, obviously, they're not perfect, but it doesn't matter because, you know, we've got an actual drummer. Um, thanks, Brent. Um, and, and obviously, if we choose to use the computer as a, a live mixer, we can, you know, play all the different tracks for the drums, you know, put EQ on them and route them out, record them live. Same for the guitars, you know, we can use amp modulation or just mic the guitars up, but they'll be coming out through this track as well um, after we put effects on it. And um, even for Nick, um, got this guitar automation track which can automate the different patches or the different sounds of the guitar so instead of using a pedal it'll automatically trigger off uh, something to change the, the guitar effect um, which is handy I mean and, and if we're playing in time um, which is the whole purpose of this it'll do it for him so he can concentrate on playing um, which is easy um, and obviously with um, the backing tracks which is another possibility if we're playing to a click track. Um, you know, for argument's sake, if there's a piano part in a song, we can record that, let that play, and then add an extra dimension to the music. Um, and then maybe we can put some, I don't know, backing vocals on there to trigger off just to beef up the choruses or whatever. Um, you know, obviously we can sing back up live, but we can have an extra stuff or extra stuff to give it a different dimension. Um, similar to guitars, like if we think we need an extra guitar playing during a solo, for argument's sake, we can record that and you know have the solo being played live, or vice versa, whatever. So that could be handy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've mapped out all the songs that we do know. And as I said, it stops after every song and then we trigger the next one. Um, and you know, so on, and obviously these. Are, this is just the pool of songs that I've put into this sort of project, um, so I can change the order. Let's see what I write here. Um, and as we new learn new songs, I can put them in here, map them out, which is relatively easy, and then chuck them in order. Um, so yeah, M I mean, what we can, u what you guys can use this for is just to play along with at home. I mean, practice. And um, yeah, see if it's gonna be, gonna be a viable sort of solution, or maybe not solution, but you know, a viable option for us to experiment with. I mean, we can obviously test it, but um, could be promising. We'll see how we go. Yes, yeah, so I'll just um, you know, here's what the click will sound like, and it'll only be coming through the the headphones. Well, this is the main output, which won't have a click. But I'll turn the click on. You can probably hear it through my headphones. 
see, and it's, we've just um, changed the song. Oh, I, I've, sorry, I just turned that click off, it's annoying. The song's automatically going through now because I'm just going to let the video go. Um, but, you know, I can turn it off so we can pause. So, yeah, what, what I'll do is I'll start this off again and I'll let it run. And, um, yeah, some, there might be the odd mistake in the drum maps or the the marker track. So just ignore that, give me feedback to so I can fix it. But yeah, I think this could be a pretty handy sort of tool. So yeah. <laughs> 